Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have another hair review video for you, kind of with a chit chat. So this video is sponsored by Be Show Hair. Thank you so much for contacting me to review this wig. This wig is their natural black water wave hair and it is a 13 by four transparent lace wig. And they sent it to me in 22 inches. Their wig comes with a wig cap and then obviously the brochure to kind of tell you about the wig and ways to save money and get money back. The wig is 180% density, it is water wave, and like I said, it is 22 inches. Sorry if the camera quality is not at its best. I did have to record this portion of the video on my um, iPhone 11 Pro Max. So yeah, lighting was not as good because I was against the light. But it is very beautiful, very bouncy, and very shiny. So stay tuned until the end of the video to see how perfectly and beautifully this wig turns out. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if it's going to be the intro or what, but I have another week to show you guys. It is from B Show Hair. Thank you so much, B Show, for sponsoring this video. This is how their box comes. Really super cute. I should have already put in a clip of the hair and how it came and everything, so I don't have to show that again. But yeah, um, I liked how it came in the little bubble wrap thingy, but this is the box. I've already showed everything, and then we're going to get into the wig. I've already bleached the knots of this hair. It did not come bleached or anything. Um, the hair did, no it didn't. I had to put a middle part in it. <laughs> so it didn't come any part. It was a free part obviously. So I did bleach the knots and I used lace tint. I don't, I'm not really on the makeup wave anymore. Let me turn this off. On the makeup wave anymore, like putting foundation under here or the powder because days where I don't wear makeup and have like glueless wigs and stuff like that, I have makeup residue right here and I don't like that. So I invested in some lace tint and then I bleached the knots also. So this is she. All the details will be on the screen and down in the description box below. So we're just going to get in. So I have my hair braided up now. And it didn't come with an elastic band, but I have elastic right here. <laughs> so I think I'm going to sew on an elastic band. Um, I just like elastic bands. It makes life so much easier. And it's also a way to actually wear the wig glueless. I am probably going to have to add some glue onto this one, but... For it to actually be snug on my head, I want to add an elastic band. <laughs> Sorry, this is choking me. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and added a little bit more lace tint. Maybe a little bit too much because it got on the hair now. So it made the hair blonde. So as you can see, you can actually see it a little bit better now. So yeah. I'm going to measure out a little bit of elastic just from side to side. I'm going to cut it about right here and I'm going to come back to y'all after I get this sewn down onto the wig. I already have a video of how to sew an elastic band on. Um, if I remember, I'll link it down below or if I feel like doing extra editing. Right up to the side of my mountain Until you 
Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now said I hate this but I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation just on the edges just a um well I always do a natural type face um I've never been crazy about crazy eyeshadow glitter or anything like that um I literally always just do brows foundation I always put on lashes and I'm not really a bronzer girl I do like highlights I do have cream contour palettes different things like that so I mean I kind of know my way around like to make my face look good in makeup like some people be telling me to like do their eyebrows and stuff like that I'm like I'm the type of person who can only do stuff to myself like a lot of people always see me review wigs and everything like that and they're like hey put my wig on or hey do my eyebrows or do this and that and I'm like honey I will f you up <laughs> for real like I cannot I'm not going to say I can. I probably could, but I would rather not because it's like I know how picky I am like with my hair, like if someone's doing it, if someone's doing my hair, and I'm like I don't really want to have to have that problem because I was in cosmetology school. Well, not school. I was in cosmetology in high school, and it was something that I was very interested in. Like I've learned how to do acrylic nails. Um kind of just taught myself about basically weave because we kind of just worked on like old people heads i did these dude this um i had to do a um shampoo and condition on this guy with dreads and stuff and i had to retwist his dreads so like i learned how to do stuff like that and it definitely sparked an interest obviously i'm still doing like hair reviews and stuff but so it's not something that i would like to do for other people well don't get me wrong i like to do it but i would rather not to do it for other people because it's just the industry now is just too much and people really be trying to do too much so um i put on primer this is from first aid beauty i got this in one of my um ipsy subscriptions so yeah I'm gonna put on foundation. I now use Fenty. My color is 385. Um, I used to use the MAC. Um, I don't know, in something with SPF in it or something, I don't know. But I'm just going to put on a light coat of foundation because like I said, I'm not going anywhere. Like I've had on makeup the past two to three days. So, we're just going to get glammed to stay in the house tonight and take cute pictures and stuff. Um, I also want to talk about my birthday. Um, I was going to add this into a vlog, but I'm just going to put it in here since we're chit-chatting. I didn't record at all <laughs> on my birthday, mostly because I was busy. 
I was busy, but I really wasn't busy. And I didn't record because my birthday, like it wasn't what I had wanted. Like I originally wanted to go to Dallas, if you don't know. I am from Arkansas. I still live in Arkansas for the time being until I moved to Texas. So yeah, I'm here and I wanted to go to Dallas. I went to Dallas last year also for my birthday, but this go around, we actually like had a plan. Like we actually had places to go, places to take pictures, all kind of stuff. But my best friend recently just moved. Um, not gonna get too much into that. She moved states. I'm not gonna say like exactly where and stuff like that until she actually put it out there. Um, so yeah, but she literally moved, what, 13, 14 hours away from me. So that was that. And so the Dallas plans got canceled. I originally wanted to do a paint and sip also, but it was supposed to be a two, hold on, let me go with my beauty blenders real quick. So yeah, I don't really remember what I was saying, but I didn't record basically, oh, the paint and sip. I wanted to do that at 2 p.m. I was originally supposed to be working going into my birthday i was supposed to get off at 7 a.m on my birthday and i was like i'm not gonna get up you know before two o'clock to get dressed and ready and stuff like that to be like picture ready and vlog ready and stuff like that so i canceled it i'll probably go well i'll probably go a different time i probably won't be the one booking it i'll probably go like on like a date night type thing to the paint sip so yeah that's that so then I got canceled, so then it just kind of was me just having a birthday dinner, which I really enjoy with my favorite people. So yeah, um, my brows, I usually do brows. It kind of depends, like I'll do them first or I would do them second. It's always either brows though or foundation. It kind of just depends on what I remember to do first. Like since my eyebrows were kind of covered with this, I decided to go ahead and do the foundation. First, my battery is about to zoy. This is that fun. Okay. Um, but yeah, and I also kind of just wanted to be in the moment and enjoy, you know, my birthday because I was already kind of feeling down and sad, um, like two days prior. Like I just woke up feeling sad and was I was like crying. Well, I cried for like two or three minutes, but also the fact that I cried because I don't know, my mood was just down. I wasn't really excited for my birthday, but literally everybody on social media and then the people around me made me feel very special. So thank you all for all of the kind of birthday wishes that you did send me. If it was either on here on YouTube or if it was on um, Instagram, really, really sweet. Got a lot of unexpected love from everybody. So thank you. And if you don't follow my Instagram, go follow because they see everything first. <laughs> I'll put my Instagram and stuff up on the screen. Um, Snapchat, I don't really care for Snapchat anymore. Like a lot of y'all, I believe still like add me on there, but it's like Snapchat is definitely the behind the scenes of everything. But I literally just get on Snapchat for like the filters or if I wanna record something like Snapchat will always keep all those memories. So that's kind of my reasoning for Snapchat. I'm definitely more of an Instagram girl. It kind of started out with me being a Twitter girl. I had a Twitter since I was in eighth grade and I'm now <laughs> 23. And my graduating year was supposed to be last year. So that tells you how long I've had a Twitter, but yeah graduating year of college so that tells you how long i had twitter twitter was definitely number one then it kind of moved to snapchat when that first kind of came out then snapchat after that one update everyone knows what update i'm talking about it just went downhill from there so um and then it went to instagram and now it's kind of stuck between twitter and instagram i feel like twitter was so much better back then like i don't know what it was but like fresh out of high school or like during high school twitter was lit honey and now it's kind of like i see these same recycled tweets so i don't know if it's like who i'm following now but like literally it's these same freaking tweets that like people are retweeting or tweeting and i'm like yo twitter used to be dead back in the day back in the day like i'm old <laughs> anyways y'all know what i mean so now it's kind of like Instagram mostly, and then sometimes it'll switch back to Twitter. But yeah, anyways, I don't know how I got on that subject, but I just kind of wanted to be in the moment and not really record. 
so that's that i know y'all probably are gonna be mad or sad or upset whatever because i know some of y'all was like oh i can't wait for the birthday vlog this is the first year since i started recording my birthdays that i didn't record so yeah next year i definitely record next year i definitely want to go somewhere so we'll see so okay we are done this is the finished look i kind of went in and i um I would say I added layers, but I didn't add layers yet. All I did was just cut the front two pieces. Um, I did cut, I like slanted it down and cut like that. Um, I kind of want to add layers because long curly hair is kind of just like blah. <laughs> so I kind of want to add layers and like frame my face. Um, yeah, so I ended up doing a middle part. This is their HD transparent lace i got 22 inches and it is a 13 by 4 wig so you have just enough parting space the curl pattern is super cute i think they called it um their water wave i'm really feeling water wave right now i'm not really into the like jerry curly or like really really curly hair anymore because it takes a lot like it takes a lot of water and a lot of elbow grease to wet that whole wig up so yeah i'm definitely loving the water wave it's a lot more manageable so definitely recommend getting water wave um like i said i'm probably going to shape this up a little bit more but i kind of wanted it to be like that it looks a little bit better to me but as of right now um, I've been wearing it for a few hours now and I'm loving it. I did add some more water just so it can look a little bit fresher since I'm on camera, but yeah, I'm loving it. Um, definitely would rate it a 10 out of 10 as of right now. I'm definitely going to be wearing this wig throughout the week. I don't have to work for seven days, so I have time to play around with the hair. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this for the rest of the week and then i'll kind of leave a comment down below um in the description box or either in the comment section and kind of tell you guys how the hair is holding up but right now i really love it um y'all already saw the packaging everything like that that was a 10 out of 10 the shipping probably took maybe three days so super cute it was dhl um this wig did offer me to have um contactless like a signature because you know dhl if you do not sign they they gone like they gone baby so i was super super excited that i was able to sign for it so like if i'm not here they'll just leave it at the house so yeah i think you probably will have that option with this hair company so that's super super convenient but yeah i really like it it's cute on me i haven't really had a um a frontal that was like water wave or any type of curly hair in a minute and i'm really digging it kind of want to bleach this hair or dye it but i think i'm just going to leave it black so yeah super cute i kind of plucked a little bit too much right there but that'll be okay honey because we're not even talking about that right now period so yeah and like i said i have 22 inches so 22 inches on me goes about under bra strap length for the curly hair obviously if you want to like flat iron this wig or something then it goes all the way down to my booty cheek <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until my next video i will see you lovelies then bye guys stop stop move <laughs> Hey, leave, leave me alone. <laughs> oh my goodness, poor kids, man. <laughs>